Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be making churros out of polymer clay. So I'm starting by making a baguette-like shape and mapping out the basic indentations. And these indentations will serve as a guide. So you've seen how churros are usually made. You can see that the doughs are piped out into a basin of hot oil. And this therefore results in the indentations being thin but more frequent. So I'm trying to mimic this texture by holding the dotting tool diagonally. So this means most of the pressure of the dotting tool is going to be in the inner layers of the clay while I'm still brushing all those little stripes so that they lay out flatter. I feel this helps achieve a more realistic appearance of a churros because it makes all the ridges and indentation blend in more seamlessly. Afterwards, I'm just adding a light amount of texturing using a toothbrush and a needle tool. After this, you are done with the basic structure of the churros. I'm going to pre-bake it now before I'm adding the icing and the shading. For the icing, I will be using a mixture of Fimo Deco Gel and some brown clay. I like to do this after the initial churro has been baked because I feel that this will avoid any texture being lost and I feel it gets a bit too fiddly with the liquid clay on it because it can start breaking down if you leave it out for too long. So that's why I bake it first before I add this next step. So after baking it yet again, you can move on to the shading. Actually, my last video was on shading with acrylic paint. And if you haven't checked it out, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. So watch it after you watch this video. Anyway, I'm starting with only yellow and brown today because I feel churros have mostly a yellow undertone and a bit of brown on top to define the top ridges of it. However, in some reference pictures I've seen, churros also tend to have more orangey colour to it depending on what's in the batter and the type of oil use. So depending on what picture you're using, you can definitely add more orange to this than I have. I'm just adding glaze to the icing of the churros so that it makes it shiny and stand out more. And that's all! Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you had, do leave me a like letting me know and subscribe for more. Bye guys, I'll see you next time!